Hello everybody, this is Carl here from Comic Culture and the Game Store in Lincoln in England and today I'm going to take a look at Holland 44, the latest game from GMT. Uh, designed by Mark Simonich, it's uh, one of his range of games, uh, identifiable, identifiable by the year at the end mostly, and it covers the Operation Market Garden. September 1944, uh, the famous parachute and of course uh, 30th Corps action where uh, the British and the Americans dropped and tried to take the bridges over Arnhem, uh, at Arnhem, etc. Uh, quite a nice box, some, you know, Shermans on the front, aircraft going over, I think they're Thunderbolts, uh, not bad at all, quite pretty. On the back, you've got a picture of the map. Uh, description of what happened, it's a two-player game, Netherlands, World War II, Operation Market Garden, of course. It uses the same simple move fight supply game system developed in Normandy 44 and Ardennes 44. Uh, so if you've got those systems down, then you're probably going to be able to find this one pretty easy to pick up. Uh, it covers the first critical seven days of the battle. There's a 20-turn campaign and 11-turn sen uh, tournament scenario. Each turn's about eight hours, so, you know, 2010 uh, campaign is, like I say, a week. Uh, there's a picture of the map. It's actually one and a half maps, so it's not just a, a 22 by 34 inch map, it's actually a 17 by 22 as well. There's two, se uh, two sheets of very nice counters, play cards, etc. It gives it a complexity of six, which I would say was about right. Uh, I mean, if you're not used to war games, you're going to find it complex, but if you're a, a seasoned war gamer, then you're going to pick this one up fairly easily, I would have thought. Okay, so let's have a look what's in the box. First thing we find is a couple of dice. Okay, D6, bags, a uh, note from GMT about the packing, and unfortunately, one of the first things you find is a bit of a rata. Uh, they forgot to mention that four of the bridges along the Bocholt Herentals Canal should start the game blown. Uh, I don't think it's you know particularly difficult and having that in there is annoying but it's not a it's not a killer. Okay here's the rule book. Uh, it is 40 pages. Usual typical high quality GMT rule book. Uh, full colour, you know description of what the units do there all the different symbols that you get on the units, which look really attractive. Uh, sequence of play, allied play, there's a weather phase, then the allied, then the German play turn. Uh, play turns have got artillery resupply, bridge phase, air landing, obviously for the allies, not for the Germans. Movement, combat, recovery, supply, and then a traffic marker phase. Now that's only for the Germans this time. Okay, so weather, bridge demolition, information about stacking units have got uh, step numbers on the side and uh, many of them are three steps some of them are uh, one or two zox uh, uses what they call a zoc bond system it's a little bit more flexible than regular zoc uh, it's not hard zoc but uh, it does require you to keep a, a fairly solid line of units to stop people just running straight past you combat combat modifiers there's quite a bit about armor whether you get an armor a tank modifier or not uh, that's quite important and it's quite a nice little graphic there showing you all the possible situations and whether which side would get the tank modifier so helps clear that up very quickly combat results are the usual sort of stuff defender shattered defender retreat d1 a1 you know exchange engaged etc nothing that i think uh, most war gamers want to see before you can have determined defense retreats advance after combat then you've got breakthrough combat artillery supply uh night turns reinforcements all this kind of stuff of course an important part of this game is the airborne landing so you know you're going to need rules for how the airborne landings happen then you've got traffic markers unknown units uh optional rules and then you've got the scenarios plus uh, hints for players, which is quite nice. I always find that when you first play these games, sometimes you've no idea what you should be doing. It's always nice if they give you just a little bit of advice, uh, just helps you pick it up. And usual, like I say, high quality GMT, they always do a great job on these. There's an extended example of play uh, and it shows you the situation around Arnhem here, okay? Very nice. I mean, nobody does rule books like GMT, I don't think. They're, they're some of the best in the business, probably the best in the business. Uh, this will help you. One of the things I find is you read through this and you pick up a lot even without reading the rules. So you might want to read that 
And it also gives you a good indication whether you're going to enjoy it or not, I find. You look at that and you think, oh, okay, that sounds fantastic. Right, I'll dig in and read the rules now. And it gives you that little bit of incentive. Designing notes now, you know, why certain things were uh, added. Quite a nice thing if you've played Ardennes 44, France 40 and Normandy 44 before. Some of the summary of the important rules. Uh, a couple of pages of that. The reinforcement schedule is there. German reinforcement schedule and an index. Every rule book should come with an index. Okay, so attractive, and there's the expanded sequence of play on the back. Let's have a look at the first map. Try and get that open for you and show you. Okay, there's Nijmegen there. Uh, there's Eindhoven. Uh, hopefully I'm not butchering the pronunciation too much. Up here, you've got the turn record track, weather, airborne replacements, sequence of play. Very attractive, very clean, going to be very easy to read. Uh, here's the second map, slightly smaller. This one, obviously, uh, Nijmegen there, Arnhem there. Okay. Again, quite nice. Remnant display there, showing you some of the units. Uh, units can break down and can recover replacements as well during the game. You get a couple of these player raid cards. Uh, that's the front, that's the back. Again, really high quality. The graphic design is, is second to none. I find them very easy to read, very easy to look up. I play a lot of GMT games because they produce a lot of good stuff. And uh, I, you know, usually find it quite easy to pick stuff up. There's the setup card, full colour. Uh, not every gamer really likes a setup card. Some people like to just set up straight from the rules. But I do like to have the ability to put the units out. It also allows you to check, make sure you haven't missed anything. So if you set everything up on there first, before you put it on the map, then you know whether you're missing a counter or you've put one in the wrong place. And then we've got two sheets of counters. Uh, first, we've got, you know, the regular units. So you've got the Germans, uh, SS in black. Mm, okay. Uh, Americans, so you've got the 82nd and the 101st. You've got the first airborne, they're the British, of course. Uh, guards, uh, 43rd, 15th, 11th. You know, quite a few different units, some Polish units as well. Uh, the, showing the back when they've taken the first step loss, or in some units, obviously, they're very small, and once they've taken a step loss, they're out of it. Second one, you've got the markers on this one over here, uh, and then you've got your, your rest of your units as well, uh, the markers for the, the track and the bridge markers, okay? Because obviously bridges are pretty important that, and were the whole reason for the operation. It's a nice game. Uh, it comes in a fairly slim box, but everything should fit in there fine. There's not too many counters. Uh, it's a cracking system. I think one of the nice things about a system game is that once you've learned the system, you've got those other situations to look at. So you've got France 40, you've got Normandy, uh, and you've got Arnhem. I'm looking forward to getting this one on the table. Uh, I've enjoyed the previous ones, and I'm sure I'm going to enjoy this one as well. Hope you've enjoyed looking what's in the box. This is Carl from the Game Strong Comic Culture saying thanks very much for watching. Uh, don't forget to give us a like and a subscribe if you want to, and I'll do more of the same. Thanks very much. Bye.